So it's time to move on from the AMD FX8350. I'm finally upgrading to a Ryzen 7 3700X. Along with a new fast NVMe SSD drive. Some RGB RAM, finally. A one terabyte hard drive to store all my IoT videos on. And the beautiful, gorgeous ASRock B450 Steel Legend motherboard. Hi everyone, welcome to IoT Ixis on Tech. On today, I have a very special episode. I am upgrading my PC. I'm going to go from an AMD FX 8350 8 core 8 thread, standard at 4 gig, boosts up to 4.2 and I'm upgrading, finally, to a Ryzen 7 3700X. It's still eight cores, but 16 threads. So uh, you know, that is gonna make a vast improvement. One, to my video editing, and also two then, to my gaming, because I have dabbled a little bit in my gaming recently. So if you haven't done so already, then please hit that subscribe button, because this might be a multi-part video. So today, I'm going to take my motherboard out of my case, my uh, Gigabyte motherboard that I've got in there, with the AMD FX8350. I'm going to upgrade to the lovely ASRock B450 Steel Legend. So this has got bits of white, gray, and some black on it, with a silver covering on the M.2 drive, for example, and on the, the B450 chipset that's at the bottom. It's got RGB lighting on it as well. Can't wait to have RGB on my PC, even though I've got the fans and the, the little bit on my graphics card. but. Um, I've got an RGB splitter because I do have something in the pipeline uh, for the future. I bought something to go with my fans. So what else am I going to be putting in there? Well, as you can see here, a Sabrent or Sabrent, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, a Rocket NVMe PCI M.2 2280 SSD 256 gig, which is a bit of a jump up from the 240 gig PNY SSD I've got in my case at the moment. As you can see there as well, some Corsair Vengeance Pro. RGB RAM in white to go with my case and my other peripherals. I am going to be keeping my current graphics card, the RX uh, 578 gigabyte, and I'm going to be able to use my current cooler, the uh, Deepcore Gamax S40. I've checked on the website and the fittings, and it does fit an AMD uh, AM4 processor, which is brilliant. I bought myself a new one terabyte, one terabyte Western Digital uh, normal hard drive because I got two one terabyte drives in my PC at the moment. One of them's getting a little bit full and I can hear a bit of a clicking noise. And what happens when you hear a clicking noise on a hard drive, you know, it's just nearly time for it to go. So I'm gonna keep all my IoT video work on there. Uh, I get paid now in a couple of weeks time, so I'll buy another terabyte hard drive. I know they're quite cheap at the moment, but with being in uh, lockdown, <laughs> You know, every penny spent has gone on this, I'm afraid. What else am I keeping from this case? Well, the case, obviously. Uh, my fans, I've got six Easy DIY Fab fans. I bought a pack of five. You may have seen the video. If not, click the little link up right there. Uh, bought a pack of five, but I also bought an additional one. They go on the back of the case. Um, what else am I keeping? The coloured cables, my white braided, if you call them braided, white uh, cables for the power uh, for the graphics card and also the, the motherboard cables as well. And of course, my PSU, the power supply, the 600 watt uh, EVGA uh, 80 white uh, PSU. So why did I go for all of this then? So they're still legend. One, because, well, it, it supports um, AMD Ryzen uh, 300 series, 3 series, Zen 2 architecture. Um, I wanted it because of the colors. There's not many white motherboards out there. I did see, uh, what was it, an MSI Titanium, I think it was, but that was um, an MATX board and I want a full ATX uh, board to go on my PC, just so I've got the expandability for the future. Two, because it's, it's got RGB, it's got uh, ASRock's uh, polychrome sync, uh, supports Ryzen 1, 2, and 3. It's already flashed the BIOS on it, so it will accept my Ryzen 7, uh, hopefully, straight out the box. Um, the Sabrens, the 256 gig NVMe drive. I went for this one because I've seen a lot of other YouTubes YouTubes? <laughs> Why did I go for the Sabrent? Well, because I've seen a lot of positive reviews about this. Uh, a lot of other YouTubers, they also use these in their builds. Okay, it's not a one terabyte. It's not going to be the fastest drive in the world, 
but it's going to be a lot faster than um, the PMY normal SSD I've got in my drive. So that's to go, that's going to hold my, my C drives, that's going to be Windows and all my games will be plonked on there. Then we have the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. So DDR4, 3200 megahertz, I've got 16 gigs to go in there. Come payday, I will be getting another 16 gigs. I'll bump me up then to a nice 32 gig for my video editing. And of course, the Ryzen 7 processor, which is an American processor. <laughs> um, same kind of box shape as my FX8350, uh, which is up on the shelf up there. Uh, there you go. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to use the Wraith Spire. No, it's not Wraith Spire, is it? Wraith Prism, sorry. The Wraith Prism uh, cooler um, because it's black and uh, I don't want a big black square in my in my case. Um, so I'm just going to continue to use, as I said, my Deepcore Gamax S40, which is nice and chrome. It does have a blue fan on the front, but I will eventually upgrade it to hopefully a nice, uh, a nice white cooler with maybe an RGB fan. I would really like to go water cooling, but it's all about the money, 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 as they say. <laughs> so the way I'm going to do this first, I'm just going to open the box, get, turn that PC off, take the power supply out of it, take the graphics card out of it, um, take everything out of it actually, and uh, set this up on my bench here, on my bench, on my table. So I'm going to do on the box setup first, just to make sure that everything works. Once everything does work, so I'm going to obviously put the RAM in there, graphics card, power supply, NVMe drive, uh, processor, and of course the cooler. Turn it all on. Fingers crossed, everything works, brilliant. I'll put Windows 10 Home on there, and, and then I'll put it into the PC case. So let's start this little montage, shall we? Let's go. So there you go. What do you think of a little montage? Fantastic, wasn't it? What? It was, it was too quick for you? Oh, no, that. <laughs> Never mind. Come on. Let's see me build this PC.
Okay, so PC in a box. We have the graphics card, CPU cooler, we have a gorgeous looking ramper there. Uh, we're gonna have an RGB camera around here and RGB at the top. My PSU power supply unit, got keyboard and mouse in front of me. The monitor is connected up. Let's flick the switch. Ooh, ooh, oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see that at the top there. Oh, my cable's being stretched. Ooh. All right, how are we gonna power this bad boy on? Well, people say to use a screwdriver. And we hit something below there, but uh, all I got is this, my little uh, dodgy screwdriver. So I think it's them two. <gasps> Fingers crossed everyone. Okay, so keyboard is on, mouse is on. I don't see anything on the screen. Yeah. I'm not hearing any beeps either. Come on, give me a BIOS or something. Oh, come on. Oh. Let me try and find HDMI cable from somewhere. Ooh. Just plug in HDMI. Mashing the delete button. Ooh. Yeah! Yay! Let me zoom in on that a little bit. Ah. Hello, B450 Steel Legend P3.20. Oh, wow. One, three, three, okay. So we need to overclock the RAM. It's OC tweaker. Overclock. Okay, so if that works. DD4. Yeah. Ooh. Three, two hundred. Oofed. NVMe. Yay. All right, let's plug in USB stick and let's, uh, let's Windows it, shall we? Yay. There we go. Let's do ourselves a Windows install, shall we? Okay, so I've got Windows 10 installed. Obviously, I need to buy a key from somewhere, but look at all those beautiful threads. Eight core, 16 thread, and our memory surprisingly is shown as 3200 megahertz. Now on my old motherboard and on another PC, it only shows half, half the speed, but I guess it could be because this is XMP profile, but wow, did this Windows load very quickly, very quickly indeed. Very happy with this. So it's time to get this into there, wire everything up, put my lovely white cables back on, uh, do a bit of cable management on the back. Look at that beautiful RGB RAM. Oh, that is so nice. Anyway, I'll give you a close up now.
Wow, what a crazy few hours that was. <laughs> a few hours. Ah, so I had to take the motherboard out of there, the um, gigabyte one that I had with my FX8350. I did a test bench on the cardboard box of the new ASRock Steel Legend B450 motherboard, uh, full ATX by the way. I had to put extra uh, standoffs in my case because the motherboard, that I, the new one, is wider than my previous one. Who would have thunk it? Installed the S, uh, SSD, the SSD, the NVMe drive. Installed the gorgeous looking RAM. Installed the Ryzen 7 3700X. Uh, but without the CPU cooler because I want to use my current uh, CPU cooler, the Deepcore Gamax S40. I forgot to put in the hard drive. <laughs> it's only when I plugged everything in at the end. It's like, nah, but I do need to back up anyway. Um, the content from my current terabyte hard drive that's in the PC, so that's fine. So if you'd like to buy any of these parts, then click the video description below. All of these are bought off Amazon, apart from the Ryzen 7 and the RAM. Um, I bought them off um, eBuyer. eBuyer.co.uk. Uh, so if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If not, then smash that dislike button twice. Um, have you recently built a new PZ? Have you got a Ryzen 7? Do you have the deep cool case? Do you have a Samsung Ultra Wide? Do you have any of these items here? Let's have a conversation in the comments below. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today's episode of IoT Exis on Tech. My next video with regards to this PC will be benchmarking it. So I benchmarked my other motherboard before I obviously installed this one. And we'll see how that gets along, shall we? <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that. So thank you very much once again for watching today's episode of IoT, IoT X is on Tech. I'll catch you again on the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.